Hi, this is the fifth video on sexual dysfunction. Today we will discuss the treatment of erectile dysfunction. Usually the first things doctors do is to prescribe to men with erectile dysfunction pills. Pills such as Viagra, Cialis, Stendra, Levitra, or Staxin. These are taken anywhere from 30 minutes to 36 hours before having sex, depending on the drug. Now you shouldn't use these more than once a day. Staxin dissolves in the mouth. The other medications are swallowed. These pills work for about 80% of men who take them. But if your erection lasts more than four hours, you must seek emergency help. This is called priapism. Again, it requires emergency assistance. Other side effects include headache, stuffy nose, muscle aches, and in rare instances, a temporary blue-green shading of your vision. You should not take these pills if you take nitrate drugs for heart disease. They may cause a sharp drop in your blood pressure, a dangerous drop in your blood pressure. This may also occur if you are taking alpha blockers for prostate problems or blood pressure. It is imperative that you tell your doctor about all medications you're taking, including over-the-counter medications and herbal supplements. Now, if the pills don't work or aren't safe for you to take, your doctor may prescribe a drug called alprostadil or prostaglandin E1. This increases blood flow to the penis, triggering an erection within minutes. It can be given in two ways. Injection, the medication is put into the base of the penis with a fine needle. Or suppositories. These small pellets are placed into the opening of the penis. This may be less successful than injections. If the use of prostaglandin E1 results in a positive response. The physician may allow the patient to institute self-injections after supervised instruction. Prostaglandin E1 injections should be limited to a maximum of three per week. If the cause of erectile dysfunction is psychogenic, the physician may recommend you to a specialist in sex counseling. If the cause is hormonal, such as a testosterone deficiency, the physician will institute testosterone replacement therapy. Declining testosterone levels can cause changes in sexual function. This may result in reduced sexual desire and fewer spontaneous erections. We will have a separate video that addresses testosterone replacement therapy after the sexual dysfunction series is completed. If the impotence is caused by being hypothyroid, the physician will prescribe thyroxin, a thyroid hormone. If prolactinemia is the cause, the physician will prescribe bromocriptine. Now, prostaglandin E1 usage can be a bridge to implant therapy. Implant therapy is the placement of a prosthesis in the penile shaft that can mimic an erect penis. Vacuum constriction may also be a solution to assist the patient to attain an erection or firmer erection. A tube with an attached pump is placed around the penis and air is pumped out of the tube surrounding the penis, creating a negative pressure which increases the flow of blood into the penis. And finally, vascular surgery can be used to correct vascular occlusions. In the next video, we will discuss female orgasm problems. Well, I hope this has helped. Have a good day.